Hey guys, I'm Lucy and I'm here today to show you how to make an origami chair for yourself. It's pretty simple, all you've got to do is follow my instructions, if you can understand what I'm saying, because I did talk quite fast when recording it. I'm now going to show you how to make an origami chair. Now this can be quite tricky depending on how you go about it, but first you need a square bit of paper. I do this by folding a bit of A4 paper like this and then flipping it over folding it again making that crease quite, quite a good crease and then fold this bit like we just folded back over on itself and ripping it. You can neaten up. Now you've got your square bit of paper. You can use origami paper for this. It is recommended to use a 15 by 15 centimetre square bit of paper. But I haven't got origami paper so I'm just going to use A4. You fold it in half vertically. Crease well and unfold. And then to, you fold both the left and the right into the centre crease and unfold. Use scissors and cut off one section from the side. So now you've only got two creases. You should now fold your bit of paper in half along the horizontal axis. Fold the top right corner to meet the first line and do this for the left as well. Now, now we need to do a squash fold. So you unfold the crease you just made, open the paper slightly and then squash down the crease. Repeat and make a squash fold on the left hand side. Fold up the top flap, this bit here, to meet the top edge. Now fold the right side into the middle, crease and unfold and do the same to the left. Your origami chair should now be able to stand and look something like this. Now you can take some tape and stick it together but I haven't got any right now so I'm just going to leave it. And I hope you enjoy making chairs that you could store, I don't know what on, tea bags, rubbers, maybe use them to store I don't know, or just look pretty thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe to this channel because the people who are on it normally are amazing and I hope to see you soon bye